Hey, it's Tim here with Expert Power Wash, and I got a quick little video, a uh, little skid that we built here. This is 48 inches by 48 inches. So starting off with the machine here, we have a gear drive, five and a half gallon a minute, 3000 PSI. It is the key start. You're gonna have the recharging system, so it will keep the soft wash battery recharged. And this is going to be a gear drive, general pump, Going on over here, this is a downstream uh, bypass. We have that on here. Most of these little skids do not have that. So this is something we did a little bit different. We wanted to, this skid to have everything that a bigger skid would have, just on a smaller footprint. You got 200 feet of soft wash hose, half inch. You got 100 feet of high pressure hose. This is the Fierce Jet, the good stuff. And then something here we threw on is the uh, ball valve swivel. And then if you look at the gun there, we have the J-Rod. And then we crimp all of our half inch fittings here. Just less uh, fittings, less things to fail. Going on over here, you can see the soap tank. That's tucked in neatly behind there. Another feature that we threw on this skid is a downstream injector uh, rinse valve. So you got a little quarter inch pointing towards water obviously is water and then chemical that keeps your downstream injector rinsed out. It's gonna last longer. Seven gallon soap tank. Going on over here, we have the seven gallon a minute, 100 PSI pump with the heavy duty gamma switch. It's wired with a heavy duty wiring. Here's a look at the top of the tank there. We got the gun that we throw in. And then we have heavy duty uh, garden fill hose here. So with this small skid, most guys will just coil up their garden hose either on their uh, ladder rack or behind the skid. We could probably stack three there, but that may get in the way of possibly adding the ladder rack. But this is a, a nice little small footprint uh, skid. We use the uniseals. So these hoses run straight through. Again, one less fail point. You got the Hudson float valve in there. So once this uh, water tank gets full, you can kind of see it shadowed there. So it'll fill up to that, about that point there and then the water will shut off automatically. There's the back of the skid. This is a soft wash system uh, rinse valve. So you got the water and chemical. It's similar to the downstream rinse valve, but what this one does is it takes the the bleach line and turns it into water. So going on over here, I can explain that a little bit more. We got the Midwest mixer. So here is your bleach line. So that's always gonna pull uh, bleach. What I see a lot of guys do is they'll just take this and run this to off and then they'll rinse out their pump. They'll turn the soap off. But what we're forgetting here is we have all these check valves and the metering valves and this whole system still has bleach in it. So that's something that you want to get rinsed out. Um, so we're able to pull water through that and then rinse out that whole, the whole system. This is the other side that we took a look at here. So one more just quick overview. You can see how small this skid is. My personal truck is a uh, Toyota Tundra. And we're possibly thinking about putting one of these together for backup rig for our own business. If you'd like to have one of these, send us an email. Probably the easiest way to get a hold of us is going to be uh, expertpowerwash at gmail.com. Uh, phones and Facebook sometimes don't get answered right away. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for something like this, a mini skid, we can put this together for you. Take a quick walk over here. Shop's a mess. Been doing a bit of building. This is another skid that we're working on. We can sell blank skids, we can build them up. This is just kind of set up on how we're gonna do this, kind of the parts are just all laying around. That's gonna be a uh, four stage window cleaning system. Here's the 100 gallon tanks that we use on just about all of our uh, six and a half and eight foot skids. What we like to do here is uh, 
have them back to back, obviously, two of them plumbed together for a water buffer tank. And then we put the uh, pressure washer where this roll of hose is sitting. And then that way you still have at least half of the bed. So if you need to load anything in the back of your truck, you have all that space to do so. So again, if you're looking for a full on skid like this, we can build them out. We have tanks here in Portland, 55s. We got some more uh, seven gallon soap tanks back there. Yeah, this is a skid. If you want something like this, get a hold of us, expertpowerwash at gmail.com. You guys all have a great day and a great season.